conditions outside are right. It's a cool day, overcast. Those are usually the best days to meditate. Fewer distractions, fewer excuses. So take advantage of the opportunity you've got. We don't know how much more time we have to meditate, but we do know we have it right now. So put aside all your other concerns and just stay right here with the breath. And it's what other people are thinking, other people are doing, that's their business. Your business is what your mind is doing right now, what it's preparing to do. Because we're constantly shaping our experience, and then we complain that it's not shaped well. We're hardly even aware of what we're doing, so we tend to place the blame outside. So there's a little area for blame right now outside. Everything is right in terms of the weather. So turn your mind inside. See what it's doing. If it wanted to, it can complain about almost anything. And if you're going to wait for the very perfect conditions to meditate, well, they're not going to come. But if you learn how to make the most of what you've got, okay, then you've got the opportunity to see that you really do have choices here in the present moment. So make them well. Be alert to what you're doing and then also alert to the results. And remember that you can change. The attitude, well, this is just the way I do things, that doesn't really work in meditation. You've got to look at the way you do things to see where it's causing trouble and be willing to change. Otherwise, the Buddha wouldn't have taught at all. If people can't change themselves, why bother to teach them? It's because we can change our habits and we can change our ways of seeing things. That there is meaning to the practice. It really does make a difference in our lives, the way we shape the present moment, the way we look at things, the way we think about things. Even just the way we breathe is going to have an impact on the way you experience things. One of the things that the Buddha said we bring to each moment of experience is a feeling. I mean, there are lots of different feelings in the body right now. Pleasure is here, pain is there. But you can focus on making the breath really comfortable and spreading that as much as you can through the body. And then you bring that sense of ease into an experience and it's going to change the experience entirely. So here's your opportunity to get some practice. When you leave the monastery, it's it's not that you can take the monastery with you, you can't take the birds, you can't take the atmosphere, you can't take the trees, but you can take the skills that you develop here. So work on developing these skills so that you are alert to what you're doing and you do it as skillfully as you can.